Hey, you know what? That's so smart. All my relationships, I start on twenty fifth. Uh, uh, because all I gotta remember is Christmas, and I'll be like, oh, that's oh, right. right. Oh, that's bad. In real life, I did that the last two times. Shout out to Brandy. Oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what time it is, man. Homegrownradio.net. One more again. Yeah. Who that is? Chuck Dizzle. DJ Head. This Bliss. What it do, though? It's Smokey Lane. Cut Calhoun in the house with us right you now. Know. Brother, man, how are you doing, man? I man. appreciate you being here, man, for man, real. Listen, I appreciate the opportunity, nah, man. Uh, man uh, I feel honored to be here, brother. You know what I'm saying? I can see on the wall, looking on the wall, man. You've had some uh, some real talented people up in here, man. Some somebody's up in here, so I feel good to be up in here with you today. You somebody as well, man. So we, we appreciate you, you know what I'm saying, so. great gracing our airwaves as well, man. For the people that are not familiar with, with Cut Calhoun, where does the story start, man? Who is Cut Calhoun? Let them know where you hail from. You know, how did you get into this hip hop game and, and what you bring to the table, man? Okay. I hail from Kansas City, Missouri. Hello. Let Kansas them City, know, Missouri, man. man. The Kansas hustle. City, Missouri, man. The hustle city <laughs> state, man. Man, I'm telling you, man. Uh, born and raised, brother, and um, started out, man, with uh, with Strange Music, man. 2000, he was established and uh, was with Tech Nine, fellow label mate, man. Uh, Tech Nine, you know what I'm saying, for the past. Up teen years, course, you know what I'm saying? Of course, yeah. And uh, brother just broke off uh, last year around uh, September 2014. Word, word. You know what I'm saying? And uh, decided to go ahead and uh, go out, get out and do my own thing, man. Thing. You know what I'm saying? Start my own label, man, and uh, do what I do, do what I do best, man. Do what I know how to do best. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And just and uh, look out for my my well being, man, better than anybody else can. You know okay. what I'm saying? It was just time for me to uh, step out on my own too, man, to break away from the nest, man. It's time to fly on my own. Gotcha. What, 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 it was it was it more or less differences? Or was it more or less all right, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta do my own shit right now. Well, I wouldn't say uh more. It wasn't more or less uh verbal differences like that, but uh there was differences felt. You know what I'm saying? There was unspoken differences or whatever, man. And uh and aside from that, you know what I'm saying? I just felt like uh you know what I'm saying for me doing my previous stuff solo uh-huh. stuff since like 2012, man. I just felt like uh you know I can get out there and uh, I'll be able to handle my situation gotcha. uh by myself and still be doing good. You know what I'm saying? And right, I just right. felt but like it's no it's no bad move. blood or anything no, like that. Never that, never that, man. I was just talking to Tech on the phone. Nice. Uh, just uh two days. Ago. So tell us about the the new venture that you have right now. What's the name of the new label, man? What's the what's the new the new brand, man? That people man. can actually look forward man, to. Man, the new brand is called Black Gold Entertainment. You nice. know what I'm saying? No, what's what's the what's the reason behind the name? The reason behind the name Black Gold Entertainment. It was a it's it's a spinoff off my last album on a Strange 2013, which was called Black Gold. Okay. And at that time, you know, I chose to call it Black Gold because Black Gold, you know, everybody know what that is. That's one the, the world's richest resource, oil. Oil, of right. course. All right. So so, you know what I'm saying? I've always tried to make my album title stick out and, and stand for something, man, that's uh, present and up in, uh, up in the forefront, you know what I'm saying, of anything that's going on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Blevy was boiling liquid, expanding vicious explosion. Like, that was the hottest thing that was out or whatever. That's what, that was a firefighter term. And then, you know, you have feature presentation. Meaning, you know, when you go to the movies, you see everything that's going on. You see all the previews. Feature presentation. The presentation. Yeah. Exactly. You <laughs> it know what sticks I'm out and stands raw, out. Raw, raw. And uncut, of course, I'm cut Calhoun, man. And uh, raw and uncut, I was just giving them, you know what I'm saying, the raw insides of me, you know what I'm saying, raw and uncut. And then black gold. You have black gold and black gold. I'm like, you know, that's the most sought after thing in the planet. You know, wars get started over it, man. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers is fighting over it. And, you know, and if people could have it, they would they would definitely uh, 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 take the opportunity, the first one they can, to have the most of it. Right, so that's right. where black gold uh, stemmed from, man. And uh, I'm like, you know, I'm going to start this company. Black Gold would be what would be a better name than you know what I'm saying with a, with a metaphor an example is that I said to have a company that stands for the most sought out thing in the world yeah, you know what I'm saying exactly. and, but with that being said that's a big statement so with me saying that man I got to be able to back that up with my with my vocals lyrics my uh my talents my efforts my experiences physically verbally mentally emotionally all, all that man yeah, so yeah. you know anybody that's gonna be riding with me also has to bring that same mentality over and have that same set of skills as well so I stand strong behind it you know now, now what are you looking for right now with black gold man what was What's the what's the ideal uh, artist producers like? What, what exactly are you looking 
looking forward to as far as building up this brand and this company? Well, basically, I'm, I'm not really, um, I'm not looking forward to anything particular because I feel like what uh, what the Cutting Loose EP is going to do, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, along with myself and, and, and being CEO of Black Gold, I feel like what the EP is going to do when the EP comes out, man, and the attention that it's going to bring is going to formulate the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? I don't even have to... Uh, have that pre-thought of or pre-written or whatever it's going to formulate the pr- the blueprint for the process to begin yeah. you know what I'm saying people are going to listen to this and people may take a listen back to what I've done before but people are going to take a listen to the Cut and Loose EP you know what I'm saying producers that may have never heard of Cut Calhoun right, or some right. that's like that know that I'm gone now and they like oh you know what I'm saying this is a totally different Cut Calhoun right, right. you know what I'm saying this is a Cut Calhoun that his sound sounds nothing like from where he was at before he's gotcha. on some new wave stuff he's, he's going this way with it and it's going to bring those producers Produces, you know what I'm saying, my way. And then from there, you know what I'm saying, I'll go ahead and formulate a producing team or do what I need to do necessary to start having those certain producers around me making a certain type of music that fits the Cut Calhoun brand. Hands up, somebody better tell these kids that they safe out here in the streets no more. It's a war outside with police, but it ain't about peace no more. Young black males losing their lives. You have a lot more control with everything that's going on. You you got what you got what you want. One hundred percent. Is it harder to kind of run your own company now? I mean, kind of being, you know, seeing how things were going and helping build a company from day one to now having full control of your own situation. Is it harder to to kind of get get the ground up at this point? You know what? Harder to get the ground up now, but is it a uh, is it a lot involved? Yes, it is. But uh, am I am I am I uh? Am I bothered by that or stressed out? Not at all, man, because, you know, uh, for what it took for one individual out here to start a business, man, you know, you don't you don't achieve success and you don't achieve being where you want to be because it was easy doing it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing it took for the CEO of a, a, a Strange Music or, or Bad Boy Entertainment or Death Row, man, you know what I'm saying? That's the same That's the same thing I got to do, too. Yeah. Nobody said it was going to be easy, but I didn't say I, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Course, it's, it's, it's worth it. It's what I want to do, man. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? I'm ready to tackle it all, brother. You know what I'm saying? It's a learning experience. It's educating me at the same time. But uh, you know, I wanna uh, I wanna I wanna leave a legacy for my children. You know what I'm saying? To be like, you know what I'm saying? Daddy went out and did his own thing, and he yeah. started this company. You know what I'm saying? And if you want to be involved in this, this is something you can do once you get older and old enough to to participate in this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. What was one of the first wake up calls that you got to say, okay, I need to get my shit together? Like, oh, oh damn, I didn't know about this, but now mm. I know about it. Just so you know, not but- not knowing about publishing. You know what I'm saying? Not being educated on it. You may hear about it, but you know what I'm saying? There ain't no one in this business, man. It's going to be very far few and in between. It's going to be very rare for somebody to come to you and be like, "Hey, you need to have your publishing right. straight. I just want to let you know. You need to fill this out care. and you need to you need to copyright your stuff and you need they to get all this stuff no published." Sheets. They don't yeah. tell you about that, man. They don't tell you about your publishing. And you know, and it ain't nobody's job to, right. but at the same time, damn, it would help out, especially if you want to see me succeed. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, it's your responsibility, man. So you know what I'm saying Publishing uh, Was one of them man And so make sure You just up on your business man Make sure your stuff's Copywritten Make sure You know what I'm saying Your shit's registered You know Business first 90% business 10% fun man. So so when is it When is it important For somebody to speak up About what they feel Like they're old Versus being quiet And say you know what I'm gonna take one for the team For the time being I think uh, as soon as you seen, as soon as you start feeling a certain way, because for myself, I felt like that for years, but never said anything. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm a soldier. I play my role. I play my position. I don't bitch. I ain't going to complain. Yeah. Whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait this out and see what's going to happen. But had I said it years ago, you know what I'm saying? Things could have been a whole lot different, man. So I say as soon as you feel that way, as soon as your gut is telling you that this don't seem right, you know what I'm saying? Don't hold that shit in, man. Where did the name derive from? And uh, how did you come up with it? Was it your first name? Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, you know, how how did the name come into fruition, bro? My name used to be man back when I uh, first ran into tech. When I first ran into that man uh, at Icy Rock Studios, my name was Cut Dog. You Cut know what I'm Dog. Like D A W G. Oh, what I'm the dog. Cut Dog. Man. It wasn't you know dog. It was dog. <laughs> it, it, was cut, it, was, <laughs> it was Cut Dog, man, because uh, I was driving up. My favorite whips was uh, old school, like seventy one, seventy two, uh, Cutlass Supreme. You know nice. what I'm saying? Cutlasses. Yeah. And uh, you know, called it by cut dog you know what i'm saying and people's calling me cut dog and so it came from that or whatever but uh 
as I start progressing, or whatever, and uh, this, sh- you know, the shit was getting serious. I'm like, okay, we got a short dog, a Snoop dog, a, a Tim Look dog, all these damn dog. dogs over I'm here. I'm like, you know, I can't be a dog right and, now. Right, and definitely not cut dog. I don't, I don't, that don't sound like a name that's gonna ring a bell. You right. know what I'm saying? It doesn't it's sound. It's gonna get lost in the sauce with everybody right, else. Right, exactly, man. And so I went with Cut Calhoun not only because it had the initials of my hometown, KC, yeah. but because Calhoun's my last name for real, and it just flew. It, 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 it just it mixed together. You are. Yeah, cut Calhoun, man. Um, now, influences, man. Who, who are the people that, you know, prior to getting into your situation, when before you even thought about picking up a mic, were you like, yo, this motherfucker got it. Like, this is mm-hmm. somebody that I'm sitting there writing all their lyrics down, or this right. is the person I, this is the first, what was the first album you bought? NW, right. And NW. I didn't buy it. My, uh, <laughs> my uncle had it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I didn't buy it at all. My uncle had, had it, man. Uh, 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 it wasn't NWA, it was Easy E. It was easy good. does it. Oh, it was easy, easy, easy does, does it. Got you, got you. Yeah, easy does it, dog. Wow. And, um, man, I uh, used to listen to that. And my uncle thought it was so crazy that, you know, he can play that, you know what I'm saying, for the first time me hearing it. And uh, the next time that he played it around me, I knew the, words, the words to it. Right, but I right. edited it out the cuss words. Like, so I have my comb or my brush in my hand and I'll be singing, singing the songs sh- and stuff and be editing it out. You know what I'm saying? I, if, well, oh. I'm easy. I got good Lord. Lord. You may have a lot, of, but, but I, I got, got much more. more. You know what I'm saying? I'm seven, eight, nine years old. Oh, man, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Listening to that, and um, that was the first stuff I started listening to, man. And then it came in WA, and then you know, what I'm saying I was listening to Too Short and Scarface coming up, yeah. and then DJ Quick came into the picture. I also listened to K Solo. I don't know if people remember K Solo. Yeah. Your mom's in my business, yeah. she's in my business. K Solo, man, of course, uh, Busta Rhymes, you know, what I'm saying Leaders of a New School. Yeah. It was out, Run DMC, of course, you can't forget Run DMC, right, right, Curtis right. Blow, and let's go on and on. Sugar Hill Game, my mama, you know, I listen, I heard all that all stuff coming yeah, up, man, yeah. but. Never then did I did I even think that I would be you know what I'm saying writing music and rapping myself man it was just I just something was, that you liked. it was something I like to do and I used to like to entertain I was the family entertainer on Christmas and Thanksgiving right. go over to my grandmother's house my nanny and I would get that little nigga cut and I get that little nigga cut get the little yeah room. yeah yeah, yeah they, they call me in there man and I do the J- I'd be dancing doing all the James Brown the MC Michael Hammers Jackson, the Michael Jackson shit. I was Michael Jackson man I was little Michael Jackson I had to curl and all that yeah. man. so I was I've always been the entertainer my dude cut cow curl <laughs> nigga right <laughs> exactly <laughs> i always been an entertainer man and i didn't uh, i didn't know i was going to be doing this until uh until uh my eighth grade year well actually about the beginning of my ninth grade year i was going to the Bro- boys and girls club and there was some cats there rapping and uh you know i was just sitting there listening to him got called out nah it was this i, li- I listened to him rap and uh I didn't say one thing, man. I'm, I'm making like, my own story. I'm just so, I'm I was, like, this I was nigga 13. got battle rap or some shit. I was 13. <laughs> I was 13, about to be 14, man. I'm just listening to him rap at the Boys and Girls Club. By now, you know what I'm saying, I, I was hanging out with these guys. They was older, but uh, I had been going there all summer. And I went home, and I, and I wrote a rap, and I came back, and I said the rap, and they was blown away. And I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? They fuck with that shit. They fucked with it. Yeah. And I went to school. You know what I'm saying? I went to a brand new school, didn't know nobody there. And, you know what I'm saying? I kind of got on with my humor and me rapping. And uh, the reputation okay started from there, brother. And I've been rapping ever since, man. Shut shit. Motherfuckers gon' turn up missing cuz we gon' shut shit. Keep on taking our children and we gon' shut shit. So you better listen up for me. We gon' shut shit down. I'm coming for everybody. Not even the sound. I'm coming for everybody because it's real competition. This music industry is very competitive. Oh, radio. God.